At some point, we have all pondered upon what the future may hold, be it a hundred thousand or even a million years from now. Taking cues from the evolving constellations that grace our night sky, we venture on this journey to uncover the inevitable oblivion in the distant future. Before jumping into the unknown, let's subscribe to our channel to stay updated about breathtaking space discoveries. In simple terms, nothing lasts forever, even in our universe. In 100 million years, the bright stars we see in the night sky will have vanished, leaving behind only nebulae. Stars begin their lives as large clouds of gas and dust, taking millions of years to form and then shining for many more millions or billions of years. Although stars don't change much during their lifetimes, they gradually cool and dim as they convert hydrogen into helium causing their cores to shrink and marking the start of their end. Stars similar to our Sun will become red giants after about 9 to 10 billion years. And after billions more years, they'll fade away completely, leaving only white dwarfs and clouds of gas and dust from which new stars can be born. But in 100 million years, our Sun will also change. It will become 1% brighter and warmer, which could ultimately prove deadly. Yet, the question remains, could this process be slowed down? In short, 100 million years is a long time, and by then, our scientific knowledge could reach heights currently unimaginable. Thanks to something called stellar engineering, we can learn how to control stars and how long they'll shine. This could mean that we could add more fuel to a star or even affect its nuclear reactions, which could help the sun last longer and not pose a risk to life on Earth. It could also mean that we could make conditions right for life on planets that we can't live on now. We might be able to pull hydrogen and helium from stars to use for energy. We'll potentially need this as our civilization could grow massively, needing more resources than planets can provide. A theory talks about something called a Dyson Sphere, which can collect energy from a star. This would save resources and keep planets where people might live safer. But there's also a possibility that if we speed up a star's aging by taking its fuel, life near these stars would be at risk, and the galaxies with these stars would age quickly. Just like stars, galaxies also change over time. In simple words, galaxies, including the one we live in, started forming at the beginning of the universe and continue to slowly move towards their end. But don't worry, like stars, galaxies also have a long journey before they disappear. Sometimes, smaller galaxies merge to form bigger ones. So, in a hundred million years, we might see fewer small galaxies because they've joined up to make larger ones. Also, the number of spiral and round-shaped galaxies might increase a bit. The people of the future will see galaxy mergers happening quite often, especially with small galaxies. These mergers can create new things like wavetails and, in particular, supermassive black holes. Our Milky Way is set to collide with the Andromeda Galaxy, but not for another 5 billion years. Within 100 million years, our galaxy will shift approximately a million light years. This shift alters a galaxy's structure and star creation due to changes in density. As galaxies evolve, their brightness fades, a consequence of large star deaths, which imbue galaxies with their color and luminosity. Although most of the gas remains post-star explosion, some escapes, reducing the formation of large stars and shrinking the galaxy's mass. Far into the future, our galaxy might be left with only a black hole. Since the Big Bang, the universe has been in a state of constant movement and evolution, with its expansion initially faster than the speed of light. As it cooled, matter comprising protons, neutrons and electrons formed, slowing the expansion. The pace further reduced after about 5 billion years, but growth continues. This growth signifies that time is expanding, like two points on an inflating balloon moving apart. This doesn't impact gravity-bound entities like our galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, or us. The proportion of normal and dark matter remains consistent, but the distribution of matter changes due to the expanding space. In essence, galaxies, including our own, are drifting further apart due to the universe's rapid expansion about 44 miles per hour for each 3.26 million light-years. 
Over the next 100 million years, this expansion could cause nearby galaxies to recede to such an extent that they become much harder to observe. With remote clusters like CLJ1001 plus 0220 potentially becoming nearly undetectable. The universe's accelerating growth, largely attributed to dark energy, may eventually impede the formation of cosmic matter as everything is moving too rapidly. This dark energy, which is theorized to fluctuate over time, could ultimately disrupt the assembly of galaxies within the next 100 million years. The death of stars, which emit gas and dust, might lead to less frequent star formation. If this dispersion of gas escalates too quickly over billions of years, it could prohibit the development of stars, galaxies, and life. Ultimately, this would result in an uninhabitable universe. The heat death of the universe isn't about stars turning everything into a fiery horror show. It's more about how things naturally get messier over time, according to the rules of thermodynamics. Imagine if you had a hot cup of tea in a room. Over time, the heat from the tea spreads out into the room until the tea isn't hot anymore. It becomes the same temperature as the room and you can't warm up by drinking it. In the same way, energy in the universe will spread out and things won't be able to form together. Galaxies will drift further apart and stars will dim as they run out of energy and matter to keep forming and changing. Eventually, the universe will be dark and empty, without stars, planets, or anything else. Dark energy might be a big problem for the universe's future. If the universe keeps growing quicker and quicker, like it might in the next 100 million years, everything could end up disappearing. Stars won't just stop appearing like we thought before. Nothing will be left, not even the smallest particles. Because stuff like stars don't get bigger when the universe expands, they keep the same size. But in a few billion years, if the universe keeps getting bigger fast, this could be too much for the stars. They wouldn't be able to handle all the energy and might explode. There's another way things might end, and it's called the Big Rip. This idea says if the universe keeps getting bigger fast, things might go wrong in about 200 billion years. It could get so speedy that gravity won't work anymore. Planets could lose their paths around stars. Then, the force that keeps stars together could lose against dark energy. If we wait even longer, atoms, the basic building blocks of stuff, might break apart. There's also a thought that after the Big Rip, everything could go back to how it was at the start of the universe. But what's left might not be like the hot, dense stuff at the first moments of the universe. It could be cold and spread out. So it's possible that no matter how scary the end of the universe might seem, it could be a fresh start. Here's another thing that could be a problem for the universe, and it's something that's a part of us. Do you know how everything we see is made of these tiny things called atoms? In the middle of an atom, there are even tinier things called protons and neutrons. Now, we usually think that these protons and neutrons are not going to break down into anything else when they're inside an atom. But what if we're wrong? The proton is one of the most common things in the universe. It can also exist outside of an atom. We thought protons were stable because of certain rules of physics that have to do with things like energy, charge, and something called the baryon number. However, according to newer theories, like the Grand Unification Theory, which says that three fundamental forces, electromagnetism and the weak and strong forces, are all just different parts of the same thing, a proton can break down. So, it could be in that in the far-off future, protons could start breaking down. The idea of protons breaking down might seem far-fetched and not something to worry about for our universe. However, if this happens on a large scale, over millions or billions of years, some parts of the universe could vanish. The breakdown of protons can mess up atom nuclei and produce stuff that might change the universe's structure as things start to decay. But that doesn't mean the entire universe will be gone. Areas where protons have decayed might mess up the way galaxies evolve. People in the future can relax, though, as their body's protons are likely to break down, but not anytime soon. Besides, there might be other threats in the next 100 million years, like heat death and the Big Bang. If too many protons break down too powerfully, it could lead to a dreadful end to the universe. But it won't be just because of protons. There's a theory about the end of the universe involving a bubble and the Higgs boson, which is a key part of the Higgs field. 
This field is everywhere in the universe, and it's how particles get their mass. The Higgs field also affects the vacuum of space. We usually think of a vacuum as a space, but it has quantum fields and the least possible energy. The Higgs field tells us if the universe is in a true vacuum or a false vacuum. A true vacuum means the universe is steady and has the lowest possible energy, but a false vacuum means the universe is less stable and has more energy. Current theory suggests our universe is in a false vacuum. If something energetic happens in the universe in the next 100 million years, like a massive proton decaying, a tiny part of the universe could enter a true vacuum state. This would create a bubble of true vacuum that would spread at the speed of light, wiping out all matter and basic particles in its way. Life as we know it would be unlikely after that. The universe is a vast and constant wonder, always changing and evolving. Yet, just like everything else we know, it will one day start to disappear. When exactly? We can't tell. Even with the best science and predictions, accuracy isn't guaranteed. But here's something we can be certain about. Spectacular discoveries await us. Maybe in a hundred million years, we'll unveil the universe's entire story and better understand our place in it. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to share this content with others and subscribe to our channel for more Cosmic Insights.